SketchUp is an extremely powerful 3D modeling tool. SketchUp is used to explore 3D space, illustrate complex spatial situations, build and explore digital prototypes, explain math concepts, measurements, and much more. Understanding the basics of the program is the first step to mastering SketchUp. Today we'll cover just that, the basics, and get you started quick into 3D modeling. This will allow you to go back and teach your students the same concepts that we're learning here today. We will also provide the resources necessary to continue on beyond the basics after today's class and also everything you need to teach this class. To get started, let's first launch SketchUp. So you can double click the icon on your desktop. Once you launch SketchUp, you'll probably see this Welcome to SketchUp dialog box. Click on the Template section of this window and choose Simple Template Feet and Inches. Now click on Start Using SketchUp. To make sure that we're all on the same page, let's go to File and choose New. Whenever you choose a new default template or a different default template, we always need to start a new document in order to see that change reflected. So I'll go to File and choose New, and now we know for sure that we are all on the same page. Let's also make sure that we're all looking at the same toolbars. Under View, Toolbars, we want to make sure that the only toolbar we have open is the large toolset. Often the Getting Started toolset is on by default. Let's turn that guy off and make sure we have our large toolset turned on. On a Mac, this looks a little bit different. Uh, you can go to uh, Customize Toolbars and pick different settings there, or uh, there, are, there is the large toolset. In SketchUp, we can navigate 3D space most efficiently by using a three-button scroll wheel mouse. If you push down on your scroll wheel button and slide your mouse around, we can orbit in 3D space. Also, while I'm orbiting, I can hold down Shift, and that gives me my pan tool, which allows me to slide my screen left and right and up and down. Also, if I roll my scroll wheel towards the screen, I can zoom in, and if I roll the scroll wheel away from the screen, I can zoom out. Keep in mind that whatever you're hovering on is the focal point of your navigation. So if I want to zoom in on this person's face, I want to hover on their face and then roll my scroll wheel and I can zoom in there.